Thurmond and Holmes, confessed killers of Brooke Hart, have been lynched. An angry mob swept on by the fury of self-appointed leaders have dragged them screaming from the San Jose jail. In the park, the yelling mob of 10,000 fights toward the improvised gallows for a glimpse of the cut down bodies. A page from medieval history. Young men leap up to rip branches off for souvenirs. Thousands shout as sheriff's men remove the torn bodies. The cold light of morning reveals the damaged prison where 500 out fought a handful of unarmed jailers. The shattered window of Thurmond's cell, target of bricks and stones. From his cramped cell, Thurmond watched his approaching doom. The morning also finds a crowd still around and perfectly willing to show how they got to Thurmond and Holmes using the same gas pipe battering ram. The gallows spot, a beautiful park in the heart of the city. In press statements, Governor Rolfe condones the lynching. To the newsreels, he says, The people of California are peaceable and law-abiding citizens. It's no wonder that they were so aroused at the kidnapping and the murdering of this young man that they momentarily forgot themselves and was determined to give notice to the world that kidnapping and the murders which follow it would not be tolerated in this state. In Salisbury, Maryland, 24 hours after Governor Rolfe's statement, another determined mob clashed with soldiers. The state militia had arrested four suspects in a month-old lynching after county authorities had refused to act. The angry crowd tried to prevent the arrests and turned their fury on reporters and cameramen who took to the air. The Maryland arrests bring into focus the question, mob law or the law of the land? 